Hey guys, it's been a little bit since I've come on because I've been having some super me time, which has been really amazing. I've been going through a really good transformation, uh, which I'm really happy about, uh, but it's really made me feel very insular. And now here's the thing, and actually this is a perfect segue into the title of this uh, live stream. In the past, I would get really hard on myself when I would have a contraction, when I would not want to be as visible. And I would guilt myself and I'd feel bad about it and I would berate myself just like I was berated at growing up. So it's really important to realize that when you have a contraction, rather than feeling bad about it and thinking that it's something that's wrong with you, what if it's actually just a normal part of your energy like the ocean? Okay, the ocean, it, it expands out into the waves and it contracts back the ebb and the flow. But when we make our ebb mean something bad, then you just guilt yourself, you make yourself feel worse, you get stuck in it, and then you go into destructive behaviors, patterns and addictions, right? So this is why it's really important to just make it not matter. Realize that you're actually okay. Understand that it's very normal to have contractions. And rather than seeing it as the end of the world, you stop making it mean so much and you start just being with yourself and doing what actually feels right for you and trusting that you're going to be okay no matter what. And here's where that's important. When you trust, you get more to trust. Okay, the way that the universe, that God, the divine hears us is through our thoughts, through our energies, through our feelings. And when we trust then we're always given more things to trust. But now tell me if you had this growing up. I know for me, whenever I do something wrong, my family would withdraw their love. Now this is pretty much what everyone does, right? Parents, they get angry at their kids and they yell at their kids and maybe they give them the silent treatment or whatever it is that they do, they punish them instead of finding a way to actually talk with them about what happened, help them see that it wasn't okay and then make a new choice. Now this is what we need to be doing with ourselves, is simply make a new choice rather than going into the guilt cycle and feeling bad about it while you're trying to think of what you should do. That, oh, I should do this, I should do that, should I do this, should I do that? And going into that guilt cycle is so toxic. So what can you do instead? That's what I'm here to tell you today. It's really simple, but so simple that you might, you know, not even try it. Be because then the thing that's not easy about it is using it in real time. So in real time, you're not going to notice that you're feeling guilty, okay? You're just gonna be feeling bad about what you're thinking, but you're so used to thinking like this that it just seems normal, yeah? So it's really important to catch these parts of you that just seem normal when they're thinking, oh, you know, oh, I wish it wasn't like this, it should be like that, oh, I shouldn't have done this, oh, I should do this, should I do that, should I do this, what can I do, ha, okay? And you might spend hours sometimes thinking about what you can do instead and what you didn't do. That's guilt, guys, okay? When you really feel, when it's making you feel bad, you're not solving problems, you're creating problems. You're making yourself feel bad to the point where you're going to engage in destructive behaviors. You have to check out of it just to get the fuck away from yourself because you're nagging yourself and you're being so horrible to yourself. But it just seems normal to you because that's what you were treated like growing up, just like that's what your parents were treated like growing up and so on and so on through the generations. But this is the Golden Ticket Lifetime where we get to make a new choice, where you can choose to let that guilt go. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't care. It, it means that you care so much that you are willing to drop the habit and do what works. Now, what works? Trust and imagining what you actually want to happen. Now, did you know that people who daydream are better problem solvers than people who don't? Okay, people who daydream are more likely to come up with a solution than people who think through the facts, okay? Now, you think daydreaming is a waste of time, but it's not. Daydreaming is here on purpose. The reason why we daydream so much as kids is because we are meant to be daydreaming throughout our life, imagining of what we actually desire. Now, the caveat here is you have to be unattached to it, turning out exactly how you imagine it, because God, the divine, the universe, or will deliver your desires to you if you expect them and believe them and so you're a vibrational match to them. 
but it may look completely different to the to the skin you've put on it okay so you have this like desire deep in your center and that could be fulfilled a billion different ways but you are just imagining it in one or maybe two different ways but the truth is there are so many different ways that your desires could come to pass if you're so attached to it having to be this exact one way when you lose something out of what you're attached to you'll think that it means things are going to hell when actually you're going to heaven you're being redirected to fulfill your desire so this is why it's so important to trust when it seems like things are going wrong because they're not going wrong you're just being redirected to something better and slash or you're learning a lesson of what to do instead so this is where it comes in when you want to change something and you're so used to it, it just feels normal to feel that guilty feeling which just feels bad i didn't even know I was feeling guilty but I was so what I did instead was I noticed that the things that weren't working out in my life I was mulling over in my head I was like oh should I do this should I do that or oh, what if I try this again what if I try that and it just felt normal but it was really negative and making me feel bad and so instead you just drop it like a hot potato drop it okay you can feel it sometimes you can tune into it you can feel it you can sink into it that really works other times you just drop it okay now you need both it depends on the situation so you have to just experiment and find out which works but either you really tune into the feeling you notice what you're feeling you can talk to it all of that sort of stuff or you just drop it and then either way you reframe into daydreaming about what you actually desire into daydreaming about what you're actually willing and wanting to do in the future and today because as I said, people who daydream, they come up with better solutions because guess what? When you daydream about your desires, about the goals that you have, whoop, ideas drop into your head. You get the idea. The vision actually paints the how. When you continually think about what you actually want happening instead of what you want not happening and somehow thinking that that's going to take you to what you want, it's not, okay? You have to think about what you want as though you trust it's happening. And that will lead you with the how because you'll get ideas that will just drop into your head. Your natural actions that you take every day will guide you. When, you. when you allow yourself to believe and trust in your desire, then your natural everyday actions will be more energized. And your faith, the faith you have, will drive you towards action. You want to do more. You want to show up and do those things that scare the bejeebus out of you. But if you're guilting yourself, you're going to be doing everything you can to get away from yourself, okay? Now, forgive yourself for doing that. Forgive yourself for when you do it again. Simply breathe with me. <sighs> Drop it and make a new choice. Decide what you want instead. Daydream it. And then look at what you're actually willing to do, not what you think you have to do. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful today. If you've just come on, go back to the start because this has been absolute fire. There are some true nuggets in here that if you implement it and you practice it in a daily basis, will absolutely change your life. It Not just like the cliche change your life, but it will take your trajectory into a whole new direction when you stop guilting yourself and you notice, you learn how to recognize it and you learn how to stop making it matter and you switch into desiring at what you actually want. And from there you take action. Bingo, bango, it really is that simple. Now, if you want help with this, I have spots available for my one-to-one -one coaching. I can help you achieve amazing things in your life, get your goals, release your fears, show up and release any sabotage programs like habits, addictions, things like that. And one of my main passions is helping people with chronic pain. So the method that I use, it cures anxiety. I've literally cured anxiety in people that have been told was incurable, okay? Um, I've healed people from all types of physical issues. I help people to really release the deepest things going on in their bodies that even doctors say is impossible to heal. It's a very specific type of energy work that I use that, that incorporates the breath, somatic tracking, tapping, biofield healing, and all sorts of wonderful things where plus mindset work and advanced psychology as well. So if you'd like to try it out, if you'd like to work with someone that's 
truly gifted in helping you get the shifts that have been hard for you to get and you're ready to heal your body and have greater vitality and stop feeling like you're not good enough or you just can't do it and wondering why things aren't quite working how you want, then I can help you make those shifts on a genuinely subconscious level. So if this is calling to you, just reach out and send me a message and we can talk about what would work for you. Okay, guys, thank you for coming. Please share if this has helped you. If you believe other people need to know this message, get the word out, tag them or share them uh, because the more that we share this stuff, the better the world becomes. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Hi, Opulence. I just saw you there. Yay. <sighs> okay, guys, I'll see you next time.